everyone, it's Lovely Scrappin' here and I wanted to show you another flower tutorial. This is a super duper easy flower to make. Uh, it takes like less than five minutes and um, it's just really easy and all you use is just some fibers. Um, this is a multi-dye one. Um, it uh, kind of looks like this. And I just got it from the dollar store. Again, um, they have tons of fat fibers and stuff at the dollar store. Um, so I'm going to use this one for this tutorial. And um, a piece of felt about an inch and a half in diameter. I just used some tweezers to start off the swirls and then some hot glue. And I'm going to be using uh, Recollections um, Boutique Fleur for a centerpiece for that. So all you do is you take your piece of fiber. Oh, and this I measured about 19 inches long too. So again, you could just adjust how long you want it according to how big you want your flower to be. So I just take my tweezers to start off because it's just easier to handle that way. And right where you see all of the loose ends, that's the way, that's how, you, those are the pieces that you want to be pointing outward. So you want the uh, thread piece to be kind of in the center. So I'm just going to start, I hope you guys can make this out. Um, to swirl off a little, to swirl it a little bit, and then I'm going to take the tweezers out and just use my my fingers for the rest. And all I'm doing is just spinning this around in a spiral, and sort of tucking this fiber piece where there is the thread that's attaching all of this together. I'm kind of tucking it underneath as I'm spiraling, just so you don't really see it. So that's all I'm doing here. And you just do this for the entire length of your fibers. Hopefully you can kind of see what I'm doing, just lifting up the ends and tucking in the thread piece. So it's not really showing. I just want those loose fibers to be showing on the outside. This is making it difficult because it's spiraling on me. There we go. So, when you get sort of the size and look that you're going for, all you're going to do is take the piece and flip it upside down, being very careful you don't lose its shape. So this is where you're going to see all of the, uh, the joining threads there. So you just take your piece of felt and make sure it's big enough to cover up that. Um, so you're going to attach all of those the edge of that, uh, those fibers. Oh, there's my daughter pressing some music. <laughs> She's next to me in her little Xer saucer having a great time. Good job, honey. She loves pressing buttons. Yeah. Okay, so here I'm just putting a whole bunch of glue, hot glue. You want to work fast because this stuff hardens fast. So lots of glue on your felt and then just pop it on top of those fibers and just sort of hold it down and press. So when you flip it over, you're going to want to kind of fluff it up a bit because when you flatten it down, sometimes the glue soaks through onto the fibers and um, can sort of glue down onto the felt. So you're just going to fluff it up a bit, except I keep the center flattened because I'm going to put my center in there. And if you didn't catch any of the edges here um, with the glue, you can just fix it up. I think I caught all mine for the most part. There's a piece here that's kind of not really caught, so I'm going to just glue it a little bit, just a little tiny bit because you don't want this showing through. And then just, I don't know if you guys can make that out, but I'm just gluing it down and then fluffing it up as I need to so there's no glue showing through. And then all you do is just take your center of choice, put glue on it. I find the hot glue really sticks to these fibers good so these centers aren't going anywhere. So just pop it in the center of your flower, hold for a few seconds, and there you go. Like there's this little fiber flower that took less than five minutes to make, and it kind of completes a little trio here of these little flowers. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Super easy. If you have any questions, just let me know. Take care, everyone. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye now.